the southeastern edge of South America, Patagonia is a place of spectacular mountains and sweeping plains. The vast Patagonian coast extends far out into the South Atlantic Ocean. An enormous shelf, battered by a cold northbound current, and bathed by some of the richest, most productive waters in the world. It is here, on Peninsula Valdez, that a single pod of orcas, about a dozen individuals, has developed a unique way of dining. Risking all, they lunge from cresting waves right up onto the beach, clamp their great jaws around a young elephant seal or sea lion. Then, in a desperate maneuver to avoid beaching, spin to ride a wave back into the sea. Enough sea lions and elephant seals survive to populate huge colonies that stretch from the edge of the peninsula all the way south to Tierra del Fuego. They gather in harems with up to a hundred females, guarded by a single, robust, and very busy male who spends a lot of time defending his claim. Massive colonies of marine birds also prosper here, notably the black-browed albatross, with its four-meter wingspan, and the charismatic Magellanic penguin. Like many seabirds, these penguins spend much of their time at sea, scooping up the food they need to power migrations over vast stretches of the ocean. One of the oldest groups of birds, penguins can dive deeper than any other kind of bird. They look as though they're flying underwater with fast strokes of their short muscular wings. Here too, southern right whales gather in large numbers every year to mate and return to the same waters a year later to give birth to their very large offspring. Patagonia is a magical place, but it is currently at risk from the combined pressures of rapidly increasing tourism, pollution, and overfishing. One fish particularly targeted has been the Patagonian toothfish, known in restaurants and supermarkets as Chilean sea bass. So many Patagonian toothfish have been captured to supply a growing global demand that their future is now in doubt. Overfishing is also depleting food sources for the many birds, whales, and other animals that require small fish and squid for food. There is hope that a move by the Argentine government to protect hundreds of kilometers of the Patagonian coastal zone will provide an enduring future for Patagonia's unique living systems.